in this video I am going to show you how to create augmented reality plane detection application using unity engine I use unity engine uh, 2023.2.3 f1 uh, version so first you must create a empty 3d project then click window click window uh, go to package manager first you must need to install uh, AR foundation and other packages so click this uh, unity registry category uh, you can see uh, all uh, unity packages available for your uh, project uh, then you can select this uh, AR package so in this AR package there are six packages uh, so uh, you can simply click this install button it will download and install uh, into your project now you need to restart the unity editor uh, then and uh, press this yes button now all packages are installed in our unity project now you can close this uh, package manager window then go to files uh, click build settings uh, you must change our uh, project uh, platform to android so select this android platform then switch platform now it's ok now you can close this build settings window uh, then go to your scene uh, hierarchy then right click then uh, select this xr tab uh, you can see a lot of uh, game objects uh, you must uh, create new uh, XR origin AR game object then again go to this XR then you must uh, create this AR session then uh, okay uh, select this XR origin uh, game object now you must uh, import add a uh, new component uh, now uh, search AR plane manager uh, then you can see the AR plane manager component then uh, click this AR plane manager uh, now uh, you can see the uh, AR plane manager uh, component in the AR plane manager component uh, uh, you can see uh, the is empty uh, field to uh, place a plane prefab and uh, you can see a drop down menu to uh, select what is the detection mode in the detection mode you can select vertical or horizontal planes or you can uh, select the both uh, horizontal and vertical uh, planes uh, click this uh, everything I uh, leave this uh, everything mode then uh, you must add a new component AR AR Raycast Manager now then in the hierarchy then uh, again you must go to XR and uh, import AR default plane game object in the AR default plane game object uh, you can see a lot of uh, components uh, you can uh, remove this uh, mesh renderer uh, line renderer uh, these components uh, 
uh, it's not issue uh, but uh, this line renderer and mesh renderer helps to uh, visualize the detected plane so therefore I will use this uh, line renderer and uh, mesh renderer game uh, components so in the material tab you can uh, change the default material so I will leave this uh, default material like this so now you must uh, create a prefab of the uh, default plane so I will create a new folder prefabs uh, then open this uh, prefab folder and drag and drop this uh, AR default plane game object inside this plane uh, inside this uh, prefab folder so you can now delete this AR uh, default plane uh, game object uh, inside the uh, hierarchy I deleted it now uh, go to XR origin then uh, in the AR plane manager you must dro drag and drop this AR default plane game object inside this uh, empty field like this so then I will uh, import this spawnable manager uh, script to my project I will give the uh, download link to download link of the uh, spawnable manager script I will explain a little explain uh, what is this uh, script uh, inside this script uh, you can in the update method you can see uh, we use uh, touch input uh, we use raycast uh, manager to uh, create a raycast so when you uh, tap on the mobile phone screen uh, it will create a raycast and hit on the uh, detected plane uh, if raycast hit on the detected plane uh, the uh, game object like uh, we uh, create a spawnable prefab so this spawnable prefab instantiate on the uh, detected plane so this is the uh, very simple uh, code I will give a, a download link for this uh, script so I will create a empty game object to uh, level manager so select this level manager uh, game object and drag and drop this uh, spawnable manager script on into this so you must now drag and drop this XR origin uh, game object inside this raycast manager empty uh, field now uh, you must drag and drop AR camera inside this XR origin uh, there is a camera offset then there is a main camera uh, you can drag and drop this uh, main camera inside this AR camera now there is another main camera a game object in the uh, in our hierarchy you can simply delete this uh, main camera now uh, now we need a spawnable prefab I will create a very uh, simple 3d cube like this uh, then I rescale it to uh, points 5 point 0.5 and point 0.5 five. now uh, there is a, a small uh, 3d cube I will create a prefab of the uh, small, small cube now you can delete this cube from the uh, hierarchy now select this now also you need to delete this right controller and left controller game object from your hierarchy level manager then uh, you can see the spawn prefab uh, empty game 
object uh, empty field now uh, drag and drop this prefab inside the uh, empty field now save the your scene uh, now our level is completed click file we have to uh, configure some uh, few settings click files go to build settings click player settings inside the play other settings uh, you need to you need to remove this uh, tick mark on the uh, auto graphic api now you can see the graphic apis select this vulkan then remove it now go to the bottom of this uh, list uh, in the identification category uh, in the minimum api level you must change it to uh, 8.0 or something uh, target api is automatic it's okay uh, you must change the scripting backend to IL2 CPP uh, target architecture to ARM64 now it's okay in the this list click the XR plugin in, in the XR plugin management uh, you can see the several uh, XR plugins uh, you must tick add the tick mark to Google AR Co it will install a package to our project now you can close this project settings window then you can build your APK click this build button then provide the save location and provide the APK name then press save 